Welcome back to the channel. Another fishing video today out with Josiah and Jake. We're on Brush Creek again. Uh, that last video, Jake and I were on the West Fork of Brush Creek. I'll link that one up here above. We're down a little further downstream after those forks converge. We're close to State Route 125 and where Brush Creek goes underneath of it near Wagner Riffle. So we're gonna make our way to some holes here, see what we can get into and try out the Tenkara rod again. Jake and Joe are doing a little more traditional fishing today, so thought we'd bring you along for the adventure. I had a few casts in that first spot here, this pool here behind me, and uh, really didn't see a whole lot. Again, I'm I'm a noob and don't really even know what flies I ought to be using for this type of fish, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna move over here to where there's a little bit of shade, and then maybe work my way down this, where the water's moving a little bit faster here in just a few minutes, so we'll see. It's good to be out though, for sure. Just a little guy here. You can see him there. A bluegill, I believe. Hopefully you can see him. It's a monster! It's a little tiny bluegill. Release this guy. There you go. All right. So there are fish in this hole. That was just a little one. Let's see what else we got in here. Well, so far, it's just been the one fish out of this particular hole. We'll try a little bow and arrow style cast here. Uh, that was pretty pathetic. Keep getting a bite, but you don't really want to take the bait. Might try switching out to the different line and fly. This is the only one I've ever used on this pole so far. So they move down to the next spot and try something just a little bit different here. So. so despite that running water that we had up there, I uh, really didn't have much success in that other hole. I'm gonna try this hole here. There's a nice little log there under the water. So we'll just kind of see. Not a whole lot of water moving here, but the stream does still Kind of flow down through i think jake caught something on down there i heard him yelling earlier not really sure so making our way down the creek uh the water temperature is fantastic but you know it is first of october so uh, the fish aren't biting too great today It's one of the interesting things about this Tinkara rod is even those little guys, because the pole is so light, it bends it over. So even the little ones are really fun. 
So I did switch out to the, I believe they call it the crossbreed line and a different fly. And instead of 6X tippet, I have 5X. 6X would probably be plenty for what we're catching today. The fly is just a little different as well. So I don't know if one's better or worse than the other. Probably depends on the fish, depends on the day. But like I said before, I don't know as enough about it at this point to really have an opinion. Something in there trying to nibble at it. Try that spot again. So moved on downstream just a little bit. We'll see if we can get anything out here. I'm gonna try to ease out nice and quietly. I see a fish right out here, but it just, it's not, I see a fish right out here, it's just not wanting to bite it. So I ended up catching two fish at that spot, uh, two good little ones. Um, hopefully got some of them on video. If we did, you've already seen them. Jake caught one smallmouth bass. We decided to, it's getting late, we gotta get home here soon, but we thought we would check out this up here at Creek's Bend. If you recall from a previous video, the Joan Portman Trail is right across the road. So we're going to just walk down here and just see. I've been down here before, but I really wasn't looking at it from the eye of someone who was planning on fishing. But I uh, thought it'd be easy access. Check it out, see whether this is worth spending some more time here in the future. Well, we only got in about 15 minutes or so at this spot. We need to get home. Jake's birthday is actually tomorrow, and so Sharon is cooking this evening. And uh, we got about an hour or so before it's time to eat. So not a lot of success from a fishing perspective today, but we did have uh, had a good time. Great day to be on the water. Beautiful day for the 1st of October. Water temperature was good, but not a lot of bites. So hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, get outside.